Hey everyone, it's time for an unboxing video. Now, this particular ukulele has been reviewed in a number of sites, so really, I'm not new to this product, um, or this isn't a new product that you haven't seen elsewhere. Um, the difference is that I wasn't sent this for promotional purposes, but after watching a few people buy them or actually receive them, I've been interested to try one and play one. And uh, long story short is the company had a much lower price on eBay and I made an offer and that offer was rejected and I contacted them again and said, well, I really want to review this on my, my, my uh, YouTube channel. And they agreed to sell it to me for um, their cost. So, and I, I'll just say right off the bat, it was $68 at their cost with no profit. So, um, ultimately I did pay for it, whereas other people have been sent this free. So, this is the package it comes into. You can tell it's a larger ukulele right off the bat. Um, the packaging has a pretty good ding. It's two-day priority shipping from, uh, let's see, where is that from? from Kentucky. So that's where they have their warehouse here in the US taped on the bottom. So I'll just go and open that up. Here it comes. All right, and the other side. And finally across the top. So I don't have a problem actually contacting a company and saying, hey, I'd like to review your product. Would you be willing to sell it to me at a discount? There's been a couple times where I've actually contacted a company and said, this thing really seems to fit what I do in reviews. Would you be willing to send me one? Um, in particular, I did that with the Papulele, which I'm glad that I did because I think it was compared to tech, music technology and ukuleles, so that was right there. So um, something exciting coming that with that in the future too, waiting for the, the product to come out. But anyway, so it's in a pretty serious box, which is nice. And um, you know, very well protected versus some of the ukes that come from China with hardly any protection. So inside, you'll see a brand, a bag for Aklat. And if you've been watching other people's channels, you probably already know what this is. Now, a couple word about Aklat. Aklat um, is a company that is also the same company as uh, K-Mice or Kamis. And they had a previous ukulele, which I was sent free to review. And that got to be kind of a weird situation afterwards because the company, after we posted reviews, said don't say that you were sent one for a review because Amazon had changed their terms of service. Um, that's the instrument that caused Barry Maz on Gotti Ukulele to stop reviewing Amazon instruments for more than a year, although he's recently thought about it and thought about how people buy and he's changed his mind with that. So, um, however... That Aklat instrument was something that I really liked. I did feel that it really benefited from better strings. I left my review on my webpage, but pulled the review on Amazon when um, it was asked us not to speak about the fact that, that we were given a review unit. And I think that also is a little scary because again, I wanna be truthful in, in my reviews. So um, if I pay for it, if I don't pay for it, I want you to know that so you can take that with or without you know, in your in your consideration. Now, um, that previous instrument though, there was, in my opinion, nothing wrong with the Aklat. I wasn't a fan of the Dove. I wasn't a fan of the kind of orange stain that you can still get with, but there have been a number of times that I've been tempted to buy the Concert Electric version of that instrument. I gave mine away to my niece. I had bought a couple more to give away as uh, prizes uh, for a school fundraising competition that we had when I was teaching at the middle school level. And those ukuleles have held up, all three of them. Um, I think they sound pretty good and it's a great bargain for that 50 to $60 range. I think the electric is about $65. 
and you almost can't get into an electric ukulele with a tuner on the side for that, that range. So I've been tempted and probably will eventually buy another one of those Aklots. But this, this is not that. That other ukulele has a solid mahogany top and laminate back and sides. This is something completely different. And number one, it comes in a much better gig bag really improved from the previous gig bag. It has one of these tabs, and since I've started getting some ukuleles that I sent home with students, this has become more and more important to me. The ability to be able to hang it on a hook in a classroom or for storage or on a rack, um, just to be able to hang it there is more important than I would have ever thought. So I love to see that. It has a pretty decent pocket on the front, and in there is Nothing. There's nothing in there right now. Really decent padding, um, and people have talked about that already. But the ukulele inside is their latest product, and they told me too. I, they said they, they couldn't sell it to me for any less than $68 because it's actually very expensive for them to make this model, and I don't doubt it. So this is, in the unboxing, the Aklot bamboo ukulele and it's not a laminate although it's kind of made like a laminate it's glued together strips of bamboo and as girl meets uke jody has talked about what makes this instrument different is that bamboo is a renewable resource it's um it's officially a grass instead of a wood so as a result, this entire ukulele is made up of glued together strips, but not, not a laminate wood, but glued together strips of bamboo. So, um, yeah, I've been eyeing this, and when it was on a good price at eBay, and then I made an offer, and then they agreed to sell it for me for that, I, I just, I couldn't pass it up. And what I'll do is I'll play with this for a week, um, as I did with the um, iron or earring that I've recently tested and see how it holds up after a week of use at school, see how I like it, and then officially do a Ute Guide review. So that's the unboxing of the Aklat Bamboo Ukulele. And just really quickly, I know the couple of things we've talked about that we haven't liked. Jody, for example, suggested that these dots be made out of black material to match the other black on the instrument. Not a bad plan. Same with the side dots that are very hard to see. Um, and um, nobody that I know is a fan of this, but Aklat uh, emailed Rich uh, Davis, who was one of the first people to get one of these to review, and um, they told Rich that um, they'll probably take that off on a future model. But, you know, now that I see it in person, it doesn't look as bad as it does. I mean, you really get, like, shadows in the bright light. But when you're just holding it, the it isn't as front and center as, as it seems like on the video. So even on my video, that seems like it's more popping out than when you actually look at it in real life. So that's something to be con uh, considering, too. Um, other just specs, it has a slotted headstock. Um, it has a different shape than the other Aklot, which is too bad because that would have been really nice to see them keep that Aklot shape of the headstock. No doves anywhere to be found on this, no whales like the Camise or anything like that, and just uh, the natural patterns of the bamboo itself. So I'll get back to you with a review of this in a week or two. Watch the channel and you'll see a yuka out of this soon. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.